I think this project is important in two ways. I mean, first of all, there's a negative side to it, and there's a positive side to it. In the short term, it's important because right now, neuroscience is entering the courtroom. Uh, lawyers are using it uh, for their clients' benefit in various ways. Uh, companies are developing methods of lie detection. And we have to, to a certain extent, put the brakes on that and make sure that it doesn't get abused. If we don't step in and have an impartial body look at those uses of neuroscience in the courtroom and decide whether they really are reliable enough for that context, uh, then we're going to have a lot of trouble down the, down the line. Um, but there's a positive side as well. This is further off. But I think there's some positive uses of neuroscience for courtrooms uh, that will be uh, helpful in solving some of our problems in the legal system. Uh, one issue is criminal responsibility and whether people with brain damage or addicts uh, should be held responsible and if so, when. Another issue is whether people in persistent vegetative states or people who have had various types of brain damage uh, really are conscious or not. There are just lots of issues of that sort. Those are, are further off, uh, but nonetheless they're very important and we need to start working on them now. I've been working recently on the neuroscience of moral judgment and the psychology of moral judgment as well. And courtrooms are just filled with moral issues and moral judgments. When a jury or a judge decides that a certain person deserves a certain penalty, uh, a certain sentence in prison or a certain type of treatment, they're making a moral judgment. And very often, even implicit moral judgments that they're not aware of will affect the kinds of decisions that are made by the legal system. And so my work on the neuroscience of moral judgment and the psychology of moral judgment will inform uh, the project by looking at how people reach those decisions. They're crucial for the courtroom process, and so we need to understand the basis on which people are making them in order to try to make the process work better.